what's good youtube this your boy chi world back at y'all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you butt drop some heat in today's video i will be showing you guys like always how to make a cartoon head so without further ado let's jump right into the video first thing you want to do you want to find a picture you're trying to use and you just want to drag and drop it right into adobe illustrator right after you do that you want to get the picture the right size you need it there we go let's break it down some all you gotta do is hold shift and grab the corner of it okay that's a pretty good size now what you want to do you want to drop the opacity down while you got the picture selected it's good enough where you can see it and after you do that you want to lock that layer create a new layer right above it then if you're using a digital tablet you'll be able to set the pen pressure for your brush so you want to come right here to new brush hit ok Go to pressure, change these two bottom numbers to three, hit OK, and now what you want to do is just get a feel for your brush, and that's the brush you see me use on every video. It's just a pressure brush, it's nothing special about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, all you gotta do is press light, and if you press hard, it'll give you a a different texture you know what I'm saying so let's delete all these little lines we're gonna zoom in on our picture and for some reason I always start with the nostril on the nose every time I'm drawing so let's go ahead draw the nose Uh, and I'm gonna take these grapes out the picture. I'm gonna just draw his face. So I'm pretty sure this line will come right up like this. And let's go ahead and close this ear off. We gotta improvise. Zoom in close as you can. Anytime you wanna make some good clean line work, you just zoom in close to the picture so you'll be able to see all the finer details. Zoom in on the lips. Can't really see it that good, but we're gonna improvise. That's pretty much getting a basic layout of the face before we start adding finer detail see now we're gonna do a nice little drip make my brush a little bigger
what we about to do you need to go to your pencil tool move this color black to the top so it'll work as a field tool and now let's do the background of the drip so they have a 3d effect Let's finish coloring in all the other black areas. Now what we about to do, we about to go back to our brush tool. We about to add some finer details with the brush. And sometimes what I like to do to buy time, I like to try to select some of these hairs, hold up, and just drag and drop them. You know what I'm saying? Just to get a nice little feeling with them. So that'll buy you a little time, but still go back on top of it. Just that help it out a little bit. Now that we finish with the line work, what you want to do is 
you want to highlight everything go to object expand appearance click merge on your pathfinder create a copy of the line work make sure you got the second copy highlighted you want to come over here find you a nice base color to start out with Okay, go to your rectangle tool, drag that color over the entire picture, right click it, go to arrange, and send to back. You want to highlight it again, and hit merge on your pathfinder so the color can become one with your line work. Now you want to right click, isolate, select group, and we can delete this outer color. And we can change the colors that's closed off. So let's change this do rag color to purple. Change this part of the do rag, make it purple as well. Hold shift to select more than one area at a time. I'll drop a tool. Let's change the colors of his eyes. Hold shift. Okay. Change the color of his lips. Now Wait, we almost finished with the base color. Let me change this earring. Okay. Now that I'm finished with the base color, what I'm finna do, I'm finna tweak it a little bit. So I'ma highlight everything. Go to edit, edit colors. And we're gonna go to adjust color balance. Tweak it just a tad. Okay. Make them a little brighter. What I gotta do. Okay. Yeah. Nice little color to start with. So now what I'm finna do is. We're gonna make a copy of our color layer, lock that top, I mean lock the bottom copy. Hit this drop down menu, and we're gonna lock all our black lines. So we're gonna keep the top two layers unlocked. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the skin tone out of that layer. Let's click onto it, right click it, isolate, select group, and we're going to delete the skin tone off of that layer. Now that we deleted the skin tone off that layer, what we're gonna do, create us a layer in between, and now we finna create our shadows. 
So I'm going to sample the skin tone and find me a dark shadow. I'm just looking at my original picture and I'm just following where I see all the shadows.
and there you have it you guys how to make a cartoon head if you're new to the channel hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you stay tuned more heat coming soon and i'm out of thing